Yaroslav Shevnin lives in Kyiv and joins us now via Skype. Uh, Yaroslav, first of all, how are you doing? I'm doing okay. As you can see, I'm, I'm safe. Uh, actually, I'm staying near Kyiv. That's the capital of Ukraine. So I'm staying like in a in a village that's very close to the city. Do you think uh, you'll... I'm staying here with my family, uh, my wife and relatives? Well, actually, I live in Kiev, uh, but I moved here just to be safe. And how's the family holding up? The family is holding up all right, but we, of course, of course, we we feel the tension and we felt stressed out and well it's not normal so uh but we're not we're not scared we we just try to you know like uh sit here and be safe and well i know you said you're not scared but are you worried you're so love yes we are we are very much worried especially with the news. Uh, what's going around is actually like, uh, uh, probably, yeah, yeah, the, the, the journalist talked about the missiles and all that stuff, but uh, most essentially, like you said, first of all, we do not know uh, what's happening in the nuclear power station uh, to the north of Kiev. Uh, hopefully, uh, well, we do not know whether it is now controlled by the Ukrainian army or the Russian invaders. But the message is it's pretty dangerous, as you can imagine. And it's a huge danger for the entire world. I can only because... imagine, Yorsalov. I just want to get a sense of what was going through your mind, your wife's mind, uh, when you heard those explosions in your country. Uh, look, uh, I actually woke up. We we had the, those uh, sirens uh, uh, in the morning, and I thought it was just like a false alert or something, just to test the sirens. Uh, but it wasn't so, uh, and uh, uh, it's kind of kind of uh, interesting that we didn't we we did have uh, some some stuff uh, like backpacks ready to uh, go off, uh, but we didn't expect that happening just overnight. And we thought that uh, 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 the situation is getting de-escalated, but we, uh, well, well, that was wrong. And uh, of course, we are very much worried and um, uh, so uh, are the people, uh, the guys in the streets, all the all the civilians. There is no panic as such when we moved from Kiev downtown to here, uh, the village near Kiev. Uh, there was no panic, and just uh, most of the civilians tried to, you know, uh, to move their families to safer places, and uh, uh, I. Uh, I heard that many people came up to the military stations, military units, and volunteered to join to defend the country. So uh, that's the good news. Also, uh, we have uh, the internet connection for now. We have the mobile network. The, the mobile network was not stable in the morning. Now, I, I'm not sure, uh, but uh, I actually made a few calls to you. Uh, speak with my mom, uh, who is in Kiev, and my dad uh, to make sure they are okay. But of course, they are, they are worried too. Of course. Well, we wish you certainly all the best. Stay safe. And I hope we can talk uh, to you at I some just, point I in just, the future. I just want to say something real, real quick. Okay, go ahead. Uh, yeah. This is a message for the U.S. and Canada. And well, uh, I do remember I, I'm a former worker of the American Chamber of Commerce in Ukraine. And uh, I met President Biden. That time he was not a president uh, about 10 years ago when he came to Kiev. Okay. So this is the message for uh, 
President Biden. Mr. President, uh, as a Ukrainian civilian, uh, I really want to urge you, despite the fact that Ukraine is not uh, a member of the NATO, uh, but as you can see, uh, we get those missiles and uh, we get invaded. So several cities in the south of Ukraine and in the uh, one of the regions on the uh, north uh, are already occupied. I don't know the situation. So okay. uh, the point is, uh, I would really ask and urge uh, the U.S. to, to help and cover Ukraine from the air. Uh, I, I, I know the Biden administration is keeping a close eye on all these developments. In fact, we have a live report from the White House in a short time, but we have to let you go, uh, Yorsolov um, Shevnin. Thank you.